Hi, this is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. What is nostalgia? Nostalgia is an attempt to compare the worst things about modern day with the best ones of the past. Was it really better in the olden days? What I'm going to tell you about the games today will elicit a childish smile if you're an old game geezer like me, or maybe with contempt if you're a youngster. This is what makes up the great and incomprehensible woman known as nostalgia. Okay, now I'm going to introduce to you a shelled arcade game, Mutant Rumble. The feathered actioner DuckTales, Scrooge's loot, and the classic and tight underpants, Power Rangers Mega Brawl. Mutant Rumble is an arcade game in the style of certain old games about radioactive turtles, but with some differences. The thing is that this game is divided into levels, depicting tiny pieces of city streets, sewers, or rooftops, which will be attacked by enemies from both sides. Such a closed world it is. I would even say reserved. After choosing one of eight turtles, why eight, you ask? It is because each of the four different turtles has an extra skin option with battle armor. That's in case you're bored to death with the look of just plain old turtles. Well, after choosing one of four turtles, you are sent out to mop up the streets of New York from gangs, robots, bosses, and various other evil crap led by Shredder. Master Splinter will collect coins, upgrade his turtle buddies, and unlock new combos. Obviously, the master is still a rat at heart since he takes money for tuition from his disciples. The controls in Mutant Rumble are represented in a form of swipes against your enemies, and that helps make a good old arcade game at least feel younger. DuckTales Scrooge's Loot is an action game combined with a shooter and is something remarkable all its own. I bet that you'd never think that the Disney ducks could be turned into vicious killers, fighting for gold or racking up a number of kills. But here it is, and the game is rather playable, enjoyable even. Think of it as a kind of team fortress for ducks. And it's all about ducks and their lust for money and bloodshed. You can play both the single game and multiplayer games to see which duck is the best. You will get gold from victories to spend on new weapons, costumes, and improvements to your battle skills. And finally, I present you the classic arcade game Power Rangers Mega Brawl. When you were a kid and the slide at your local playground was trashed by some awful brats, the sand, dirt, and water was totally spent for making mud pies. You could freely imagine yourself to be a Power Ranger, travel to a world of childhood fantasy, safe from the harsh realities of the real world with the magic words, Go, go, Power Rangers! Today's generation only has to download this fantasy world to their mobile devices in order to feel like real Power Rangers. But that is not the case with this game. The main reason this game is such a flop is that the developers didn't succeed at all in transporting the players into a bright and colorful world worthy of the series, or as far as I could tell, didn't even want to. Locations are dull and monotonous. The game is so lackluster, it's downright depressing. You run, fight, shoot, run, fight, and shoot. It's so boring that adding a donation option to help improve the game would have been a good idea. Instead of shedding tears of nostalgia, you shed slobber of apathy or whateverism. And that's not the only reason to avoid downloading this game. We're gamers after all, and we want good games no matter who you are. An old geezer or a young whippersnapper? I will finish today with an optimistic thought. If you like this, then download the games, put likes where they are deserved, subscribe to the channel, and join the group. It still has tons of interesting things there. This was Jay with a review from Mob.org. See you soon!